They are villagers from Tofu, Hedo, and Goshi. Seeking refuge with their wives and kids, they are struggling to transport their mattresses, foodstuff, zinc sheets, and other items to Mokolo. The people of Tofu, Hido, and Goshi left most of their belongings behind after members of Boko Haram launched a fast attack on the entire village. About 41 people were killed, several others wounded and property destroyed. Franchement, ça ne donne pas. Parce que matin, midi, soir, on mangeait dans notre village comme on voulait. They say they are suffering. Feeding is a problem. They barely have what to eat. Arrivé ici, on n'arrive même pas à manger. This family head is a second class chief from Mutas. Je viens de Mutas. Je suis un chef de deuxième degré. He explains through an interpreter that he got to Mokolo with 15 children and they have nowhere to stay. C'est difficile. Très difficile. On arrive à l'hôpital, on n'a pas le moyen. Access to health is also a problem to the Boko Haram victims. With limited finance, they can't have adequate health care. Si tu n'as pas l'argent, Ça veut dire que le cercueil t'attend. It's also an uphill task for their children, over 500 of them, to continue classes for the second term. They have been told there are very limited places in Mokolo for those who run away from the attacks. Malheureusement, tous n'ont pas repris la rentrée scolaire de deuxième trimestre. D'autres établissements disent qu'il n'y a pas de place. And those who have no transport to neighboring Mokolo or other safe places, they are obliged to stay in the village but must hide behind the mountains or on treetops since no one knows when Boko Haram will launch the next attack.